what's up guys welcome back to my channel I'm Stardust and so are you so okay guys you already know what this reading is going to be about I'm going to be asking the question who is spying on you and of course I'm not even going to tell you guys what I had to go through to record this reading this will probably be like my fourth time trying to record this reading the first one got deleted somehow I'm not even going to get into it so that just tells me right away that like Whoever is spying on you, they're doing a good job of being hidden or staying hidden. They don't want you to know that they're spying on you, maybe because they're not supposed to be spying on you. Um, this could be an ex. Um, and it also could be someone that's currently in a relationship or in a partnership. And I'm also getting this is someone that you possibly blocked as well. So you don't want them checking in on you or spying on you. And so this person is taking it upon themselves to go over and beyond to stay hidden. Um, and they have a really strong energy about them as well. So I'm going to get into it right away, guys. I got two piles, obviously. The first pile is going to be the garnet. And the second pile is going to be the black tourmaline. And garnet resonates with your root chakra, just like black tourmaline. They're both protective stones but garnet just has this um energy of luck and abundance towards it um it resonates with your sacral chakra um and it has a lot of passionate energy as well um this stone has the ability to make you feel fiery passionate magnetic sexy and attractive and alluring and it has like i said this lucky energy with it so garnet and then black tourmaline of course um, is a great stone for protection, protection against negative energy, protection against um, electric magnetic fields, you know, radiation, things that may harm you in your daily space. Um, and it good, again, it's good for grounding energy, root work and uh, shadow work. So go ahead and pick your piles, guys. Uh, pile one, pile two, and I'm going to get started. Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. Pile one, I'm going to get right into it. Um, who's spying on you? Timestamps are going to be below, of course. Wow. And I, too, have channel messages, and I'm going to pull um, channel messages as well. For who's spying on you i'm going to do this reading again also maybe in a few days uh with channel names as well the first one had channel names the first reading that i did like this and like i said i got deleted but um who's spying on you pow one garnet pow i feel like this is a lot of people um but yeah heavy on the female energy so I'm getting that this could be someone that has a, like a really nurturing energy. This could be a mom as well, a mother. If this is not your own mom or your grandmom or something, this could just be someone that has a motherly energy. Um, heavy on the female energy here. Um, but I do feel like it's multiple people here. And this person definitely wants to stay hidden. Like, look how this guy's face is like not even uh, cloaked. I mean, it's not, it's like not even showing here. I feel like the person that's spying on you um, causes some type of major change or transformation. Maybe with their communication or how they speak here. I feel like this person could be mentally stuck, feeling mentally blocked here. Again, I was saying that maybe this person is going through a lot here. Maybe this person is feeling mentally defeated or ashamed about something. This person could have just gone through like a major change maybe with their home. I'm feeling like whoever is uh, spying on you. I'm going to pause this for a second. 
Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to focus in on the energy a little bit more. Strong emphasis on something about this person's hair. I'm getting someone has, like, dark uh, black hair. Um, heavy on the mom energy here. Someone that possibly gives really good hugs. If you're a masculine energy, this could definitely be your mom or your sister or somebody that you're connected to. Um, and if it's an ex, someone from your past here, this person has dark hair. Uh, long dark hair this person could be a mom I keep getting that but this could have been someone that you had like you know pettiness or drama here with maybe some type of competition energy but I'm getting that there's multiple people here and this person is going through a lot of change here possibly traveling as well this person could have just moved I don't know if this person is relocated because of like a storm or some type of fire as well. I feel like maybe this person could have like hazel eyes. Dark eyes, not like blue or anything like that. But like this person could have like hazel eyes or green eyes as well. I'm seeing dark brown eyes. This person could like to sing as well or harmonize I just heard um I feel like this person could have just gotten like a wish granted or something is going good here in their life maybe after some type of major transformation that they've gone through <coughs> excuse me oh my goodness I don't know if that sneeze was significant, but yeah, it just came out of nowhere. I definitely feel like someone could be blocked with the communication as well. Like I said, it's someone that you possibly blocked in communication. This could be someone that you're resting from, taking a break from as well. This person could be feeling mentally defeated about some type of change or transformation that they've gone through. Something about wings here. Um, I don't know if this person likes to fly, likes to travel. Maybe this person has a bird or a connection to birds. Who's spying on you too could be your spirit guides your ancestors people that you call on for you know prayer things like that here especially if you have like a mother figure or auntie or uh, a grandmother that's passed along here this person could be spying on you as well um, strong emphasis too if you've had like a male figure pass along in your uh, family, your brother, your uncle, your dad, someone that could have been taller than you. I'm seeing someone with glasses as well, dark like rim glasses that could be spying on you. I feel like too the person that could be spy spying on you may smell like flowers or love flowers here. Um, two, I don't know if this is significant for somebody. The person that could be spying on you is somebody that you went to prom with. Or somebody that you wanted to go on prom with or something like that. Or they wanted to go on prom with you. The person that could be spying on you as well could live in like a high-rise apartment building. Or like a building that has like multiple floors. <laughs> person that could be spying on you could have like a sharp chin a uh, sharp jaw line something prominent about their cheekbones as well yeah this person have really nice brown eyes
whoever this is though they could be going through some type of healing or they need some type of healing i need to have some type of faith in your situation but let me get more um let me get channeled messages about the person that's been spying on you i definitely feel like this it, it could be multiple people somebody that you possibly have some type of pettiness or drama with i think i said that um this person could be going through some type of change where their fortune is changing for the better especially if they've just gone through like a major transformation with their home or their finances strong emphasis on their home or traveling or going somewhere i feel like this person is very strong they have a lot of inner strength maybe they're holding themselves back maybe possibly from wanting to communicate i feel like this person is having a new beginning for sure this definitely could be someone from your past or someone that you think about a lot or have like nostalgia about yeah um this could be a crush as well someone that um that's on your mind or you're on their mind this person could be trying to use people to get to you so whoever's spying on you i feel like they could be using like someone else's social media using a friend or someone that you guys have in common to like get in your good graces or talk to you again this person um that's spying on you they could be asking about you asking about you to people that you guys know in common asking about you to a crush or or, or somebody that you're crushing on this could definitely be a new person or somebody that you've just recently met or uh, you have a crush on that's spying on you whoever's spying on you as well uh, they stand up for themselves they're a fighter um, this person um, has a lot of strength this person could be a uh, license to carry as well they could go from a zero to a hundred yeah this person could be silent but deadly verbally and physically they don't play about like their friends their family as well who's spying on garnet who's spying on the garnet pile describe that energy yeah whoever this is i'm telling you it's a new crush this could be a work crush or a gem crush a new friends with benefits that you have um someone that you have recently sparked their interest you got this person's attention you could be having spicy communication with this person or this person wants to communicate with you spicy things like you know um sexiness like this person could be sexy or like sexual conversation you guys could be having but this person is focused on you heavily uh i feel like you could find this person attractive or they could find you attractive you, this person is somebody that you see all the time as well they could have a sexy body they could be tall somebody that you flirt with someone that's attractive i was getting this tall energy here as well and maybe you're just friends with this person and you guys like they give really good hugs or something this person too that's spying on you could wear some type of hat some type of bandana or some type of uh hoodie as well maybe they cover their head a lot as well who's spying on garnet last card yeah if you're married as well this could be your wife or your husband or your future wife or your husband and also i was getting this in the channel messages if this is not your wife or husband this person could have a wife or a husband then it could be in a healthy uh, dynamic um this could be somebody that you've been dating for a long term as well if you're not married this could be a stable person But yeah um this person could also be a really good dresser as well they could stand out with their uh outfits as well male or female but yeah um as far as zodiac signs i'm getting heavy fire sign leo sagittarius aries libra and also a scorpio libra gemini aquarius to be exact heavy on the aquarius heavy on the scorpio energy 
So guys, I hope that resonated with you. Who could be possibly spying on you? And if not, you can always check out pile number two. And also check out my past readings, guys, with these similar topics. Um, I hope that resonated. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thanks again for so much. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see y'all in the future readings. Peace. Okay, guys. Welcome back. Black Tourmaline Pile. Let's see who's spying on you, y'all. Let's spy on the people that's spying on you. <laughs> Let's see who this is. You should definitely watch pile number one. I'm getting a little summer energy so far. Not really, but a little bit. Yes, definitely watch pile number one. So, definitely. Pile number one and pile number two is definitely connected. So, again... Who's spying on you? The, again, this could be a mom, a baby's mom, a grandma, a heavy female energy, somebody that's in this empress energy, somebody that possibly needs a lot of rest or they've been trying to rest and re rejuvenate here. This person, again, could be feeling mentally defeated. Maybe they need some type of rest or a break here. Maybe this person works a lot. Someone could be spying on you to see about your finances, who you're giving and receiving with as well. Someone could be spying to give and receive with you. They're trying to balance out some type of energy here. Wow. I feel like the universe is spying on you as well. God, ancestors, things like that. I'm also feeling like a witch could be spying on you. Someone that practices, um, you know, spirituality, does magic, alchemy, things like that. Someone that could be spying on you as well could be an artist, somebody that creates things, someone that does things here with paints. This person could be a construction worker or some type of painter. I'm seeing too someone in the LGBTQ community that could be spying on you, um, heavy male energy that's LGBTQ. This person could identify as a witch. Someone that has like a, you know, a friendly smile or a smirk, high cheekbones, heavy on that energy, pointy nose. This person can have to wear a uniform for work, like, like a construction vest or like, you know, some type of outfit or helmet or something here. I feel like this is someone that communicates a lot. Maybe someone that has to, like, you have to, like, defend yourself against. I feel like, too, I was getting in the channel messages. It's someone that you could have celebrated with. Someone that possibly is a little obsessed with you as well. This person could be trying to seduce you or um, has a seductive energy. I feel like you need to pay attention because this person could be, like, right around you as well. Like I said, uh, in the first uh, pile number one, this could be someone that you see all the time. This person, too, could have like a goatee. I'm getting two different energies. If this is not a woman or an empress or a mother or a mom, this could be, you know, someone that has a goatee, a mustache and a goatee. And also I'm getting the energy of somebody that's like clean shaven as well. Uh, this person could have like two, if this is a female, someone could be wearing black fingernails. I was getting to maybe someone had green fingernails or black fingernails. Like I said, this person could identify as a witch. This person too, it could be somebody that you go to for a service as well that's spying on you. Maybe someone that like you go to for like information or clarity as well, some type of truth or communication. could be someone that you have to like pay money to or they pay you money this could be like a boss as well someone you work for i feel like whoever's spying on you too uh taurus capricorn virgo pisces aries uh libra gemini aquarius i feel like this person is looking for information i, I think i said that this person has a lot of information a lot of clarity uh, a lot of ideas as well. Again, high cheekbones.
this person too could be like the king of swords as well or the uh, king of cups someone that um uses their logic um I, I too someone could be using like the information that they find out to try to like use it against you the person that's spying on you too could have been someone that you cut off financially or someone that um especially if this is like an ex-boss or an ex-partner I feel like the person that's spying on you is like someone that mixes something. I don't know if this person, again, like I don't know if they do something with paint or building something. Uh, they could do spells. Someone's finances could be really protected. The person that's spying on you too is somebody that could be asking you for money or finances. Your cat could be spying on you as well. <laughs> Could be a pregnant woman here as well spying on you. I'm getting someone too that's into like anime or um, video games. Yeah, I feel like someone is definitely trying to be fair in a situation, though, but. But, yeah, this could be somebody that, like, is, um, you know, has a nice smile. Uh, like I said, a pointy nose, high cheekbones, my blue suit just fell off. Someone could talk really loud or like really close to your face. This person could be spying on you. But yeah, heavy mom energy. I'm going to get some channel uh, cards to see who's spying on pile number two, Black Tourmaline. Sorry about that, guys. This person could have tattoos as well, like back shoulder tattoos. Uh, they could wear like their hair and like a, a braid or like one single braid. Tattoos on their elbows, like that type of stuff. But yeah, let's see. Channel messages who's spying on Black Tourmaline. Someone that likes you more than you think as well. This person is trying to play it cool, but they're super intimidated by you. Someone could, this person could want to impress you as well. Describe the person that's uh, spying on Black Tourmaline. This person is like probably someone that you've like been done with, you know. Uh, this could be a wound mate, W O N D mate, a wound mate. Um, this could be someone that wants to try again with you, you know. This could be somebody that's spying on you. There's somebody that was a booty call or a hookup. Um, someone could just be missing your energy. This is the reason why they're spying on you. This is somebody that you don't want a second chance with. Someone that could have betrayed you that wants to apologize or someone that you ended a situation with this is somebody that you don't want back as well maybe you're resting and retreating from this person 
you are resting and rejuvenating from this person. This could be somebody that's indecisive, somebody that gave you mixed signals that was flaky here. Somebody that overthinks, they're panicky. This person could have a lot of anxiety as well. Who's fighting in black tourmaline? Yeah, this is somebody that you definitely used to have sexual encounters with. Um, maybe you guys had really great sexual chemistry, but you guys were roommates. This person reminisces. I feel like this person has a lot of naughty thoughts. They definitely want to have sex with you again, whoever this is. This person could be emotionally invested. This is somebody that definitely looks forward to seeing you though. Who's spying on my black tourmaline pile? This person could look forward to your photos as well. Who's spying on black tourmaline? Who's black spying on black tourmaline? Yeah. And I get this pregnant woman here. I don't know if this is somebody that wants to have children with you or somebody that you do have children with, like a baby mom or a baby dad. This person could be, you know, somebody that thinks you would make a good parent. This person is probably ready to start a family. This person is somebody that wants to have emotional connection with you. The person that's spying on you could be a sapiosexual as well. They spy on you possibly because they love the things that you say. They think you're intelligent. But this could be your sugar mom or your sugar daddy. I was getting that as well. Somebody that you give and receive with. Someone that gives you finances. They could be spying on you as well. Someone that's generous. That loves to spoil you or somebody that spoils you. Someone that, like, you don't want a second chance with this person now. Someone that you're good off of that's spying on you. Yeah. You got friends that spy on you. Possibly people that you've gone out to karaoke with or did hookah with. Um, you travel with these people, you hang out with these people. This could be trust, trustworthy or loyal people as well that uh, stalk you or um, not stalk you, but they could be stalkers uh, that uh, spy on you. This could be uh, a reliable, dependable person. This could be like your ride or dies that uh, spy on you as well. And like I said, if you are a mom or a dad, a big, you know, this could be a, a deadbeat mom or a deadbeat dad that spies on you as well. Or a deadbeat baby dad or baby mom. You take it how it resonates. But this person could be spying on you uh, when it um, comes to, like, your finances and, like, your photos and, like, maybe you traveling and things like that here. But yeah, guys, that's all I'm getting. I hope it resonated with you guys. Um, and definitely check out pile number one. I feel like it might resonate. And I hope that pile number one moseys over into pile number two. Because it totally resonated. And it was very big because I feel like, you know, these people are spying. So, of course, they're not going to, like, they're going to try to stay and cloak their energy as much as they can. But yeah, I just heard that sound on my phone, like, doo -doo -doo. but yeah, this person have really nice eyes as well. I was getting that in pile number one, or like full lips. Like I see someone with tiny ass lips, and then I see someone with full lips, full cheekbones. You know, black or like dark purple nails or something here. 
But yeah, guys, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Definitely give me feedback in the comment section if it resonated with you. And um, also let me know what you guys uh, want to hear about, what topics. Um, and I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I'm just trying to see if I get anything else, but it's looking like it's a wrap, guys. So peace. Have a good night.